Hey guys, welcome to Vintage Motor Garage Side Project. I'm Chris. Today we're going to find out, is it possible to take an ordinary lawn tractor, self-tapping screws, and make studded snow tires for it? Let's go find out. Alright guys, I want to show you how you can stud your tractor tires for cheap. I went out and got these stainless screws or self-tapping. You can see here I've already started. I've got a pattern going on. And what I'm doing is taking a screw and dip it down into this washing soap. I'm going to do that for lubrication. And I'll set you up here and I'll do a couple and show you what's going on. Okay, you clean off the area where you want to put your screws at. Like I got this, and this one, and this one. And what I'm doing here, I'm doing that to make like a zigzag pattern. So what I do, I just put this in my cordless drill. And just screw it in. my drill setting on five for the ratchet stop so that does a pretty good torque on there so I'll continue on with the rest of them we'll get this done okay we got the studs in got a nice uniform pattern Had quite a bit of screws left over for doing two tires. There's 80. Now my tire size is 20 by 9 by 8. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll put some air in it, see if I got any leaks. If I do. If I did break through to the tire, I got slime. I can put it in there and seal it up. But they were a half inch long. So I'm gonna put some air in it and find out. Got the compressor hooked up. It says right there, inflate to 10 PSI max. Okay, let's check out our studs and see how they held up. We'll start here on the right tire, and we'll start at this location where I have three and two. That's where I started putting the screws in before I decided on my pattern. So right off the bat, I can see wear on top of the screw heads. And we'll go around and have a look at the others. I'm seeing same thing where now if you look at this one I can see it's starting to back out of the tire a little bit so 
but overall not too bad. Just got some wear on top of the screw heads. And that's where the studs ate through the ice down to the asphalt. And we're back to where we started. And they're all in there. We didn't lose any. So let's go have a look at the left side and see how it looks. Okay, we're on the left side now. So we'll start here at this pattern. And we'll just rotate around. Again, I'm seeing wear on the screw heads. Looks pretty much the same as the right side. Now we have one here. I can see it's starting to back out. And I see two more coming up here. This one and this one are raised up a little bit. They're coming out. We are back to where we started from. So on this side we had, what, three that were backing out, one on the right side, but they're all still there. We didn't lose any. So you can stud your own tractor tire to get you out of a pinch for traction. And it's pretty cheap to do. It's not hard. Well, guys, it is possible to stud your own tractor tires. But I don't want to use it for a temporary solution due to the fact the amount of wear on the studs and three of them backing out, it's not going to last too long. The reason why I did this is because last fall I picked up this snowblower attachment. Forgot to get tractor chains. We got hit with snow. And I had to act fast till I get our driveway cleared off. This worked. But like I said, I'd only use it for a temporary solution. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you next time on the Vintage Metal Garage Side Projects.